Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Upper Michigan Today. We are live this morning in Houghton at the McGinnis Student Ice Arena. Tia is off this morning because uh, she had an unexpected quick procedure that she had to get done. So in lieu of that, we have Dave Ellis with us. He is the MTU NMU Sports Executive Producer I'm for... I'm not as fun as this guy, though. <laughs> for TV6. And we have Blizzard. Hey! <laughs> So glad that you could join us this morning. So the stands are pretty empty, Dave, but we know tonight it's going to look very different. We have some students that are uh, getting ready to be a part of the show this morning. The Misfits are here. The band is here. We're going to be talking with the coach. Dave, how are you this morning? You're pumped. They're going to be lining up out there pretty soon, I would think, to start getting into the student section. It's <laughs> going to be a lot of fun. It's the 175th meeting tonight, Elizabeth, and if... Northern Michigan were to win two games this weekend, they would be all tied 81, 81, and 14. That's and fascinating. When you go from 1979 and you're going to be that close, there's a reason this is one of the absolute best rivalries in college hockey, no matter where you go in the country. And you're going to see more of it tonight. Thanks to Fox UP and Michigan Tech and Northern Michigan, we're going to show you for our 43rd time tonight on the air. You'll watch the whole game live. That's right. It starts at 7 o'clock on Fox UP, like you said. Uh, but we are here ahead of all of the action, getting things started. And, you know, both both towns, big hockey towns, oh, yeah. part of what makes this rivalry so special. Uh, but as you've been following it over the last 10 years, what are some of the, the pieces that you've pulled away that make this as you said, one of the best college hockey rivalries. It just gets better and better. And you get these moments that you're going to remember forever. And talking to the ex-players and, and the, even the players that are in the rivalry right now, these are the memories that you make that last your entire hockey mm -hmm. career. Ate Tolvin, it's scoring a goal in this series. Never forget that, actually. That I was still amazing. remember that. But, I mean, Michigan Tech had one shutout all time against Northern Michigan until we started broadcasting. Now there have been five more goalies that have shut out the Wildcats, including wow. in the 2018 WCHA champ championship game in Marquette. And the Northern returned the favor with the playoff shutout last year. So uh, you never know what's going to happen. And that is the best part of this whole thing. You could come in thinking, oh, it's going to be a 7-6 to six game tonight, and it's one nothing. You can come in thinking it's a one nothing game tonight, and it's 7-6. to six. You're it, so right. It, it's so much fun because you never know. That's always our third point every time. When you go down that list of keys, number three is always expect the unexpected. <laughs> and tonight's the same way. Right, Blizzard? He's he knows. Agreeing. He's he knows for his, sure. Uh, are you up to 70? 175 yet? Yeah, good. Four or five, good. that's yeah, enough. I yeah. like it. Okay, so let's talk about both teams. Let's start right here with Michigan Tech. Yep. Who are we watching? What are you really looking forward to uh, keeping your eye on tonight? Offensively, they've been pretty surprising this year, coming up with stuff, but the guy that we're waiting to see break out was the CCHA Freshman of the Year last year. Had 18 goals in that Let's season. make sure we roll that video, in too. In a breakout year, but Kyle Kukinen has now gone 19 games without scoring. Has not put the puck in the net this year. Wow. If he's going to break one out, you got to be thinking this is the night when he's back at home at Michigan Tech playing his big rivals. Oh, man, and if he, if he does, this place is going to erupt. It's going to go nuts, <laughs> for sure. I mean, it, I hope doesn't, it happens. It doesn't matter if anybody scores tonight. Yeah. This place is going to go nuts, and we're so expecting true. all that. Okay, so on the other side of things, the NMU Wildcats, as you said this morning when I talked to you on the morning news, everyone's been talking about the goalies, but that's actually not who you are most looking forward to watching tonight. We don't know who's going to play, so you can't really start it's previewing true. the goalies, so let's talk about the captain. The first Russian to ever be a college hockey captain, Artem Schlain, and he can do it a lot of ways. He's got enough speed to beat you around the corner. He can find ways with his good stick work to get the thing clear, and he's also really good in traffic where he can knock down those tips and be a problem in front of the net. The Husky defense has had problems with players that are parking themselves in front of Blake Pietela, and that's the kind of thing right now we're going to watch out for tonight. That might be one of the keys. Who's going to develop the best strategy for taking care of the slot? Lizard, what do you think? Are you ready for tonight? Let's see it. Let's see your excitement. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All set to go. And the other thing is, too, Elizabeth, for Mark Evans and for me, and by the way, it's nice to have a more, much more presentable Sorry, Mark. partner here for the game. <laughs> but for Mark and I, this is our second annual yes. Carl Pellenpah night tonight. Hey. The Blazers will be coming out. We'll be featuring the four Finns that play for Michigan Tech in one of our intermissions. So we'll talk all about the Finnish heritage up here. The Finn flag is up already on the wall, so we'll be taking a look at that one. Rob's going to try to find That's a long way down there Whee! to pick that up. So that's, that's a big a great one for tribute. tonight. That's a great tribute. And we 
had such a good time with it last year, and the game that we did ended up as a 4-3 to three overtime win wow. for Northern Michigan. So we figured we had to bring Pelham Pond Night up to Houghton and be right across the river from Hancock, Finland Central in the uh, United States, and we're definitely going to have a good time with that one tonight. All right, we're going to take our first break here in just a moment, but before we do, there's also a big announcement that's going to be happening yes. from you and Mark uh, during the first intermission, is during that correct? During the first intermission, we have some massive broadcast news that every hockey fan in the UP is going to want to find out about this, so make sure, I know you're going to be watching the game tonight, just don't walk away and go get a sandwich then. Stick around for the first intermission, you'll see the fin feature and We've got some incredibly cool news to give you in that first intermission tonight. You're really going to be happy about this. All right, and I have to be honest, this is the first time I've ever I had a it. Husky jersey on. It looks great. What do you think, Blizzard? Now, this oh, one? I get a hug. Oh, look at that. Now, we should point out, too, this is a special make. It is. Look at this. 555 is the number of wins that John McInnes had at Michigan Tech. And you can see up in the corner, this jersey is signed by Jerry McInnes, the widow of John McInnes. So this is a one-of-a-kind sweater that you're wearing tonight. This isn't I can't even call this a jersey. That is a hockey sweater, for sure. And you are wearing a tough one to top today. Well, I'll tell you what. For my first sweater... Husky sweater yep. to ever wear. I feel really honored that this is the one. So thanks for great. lending it me, lending it to me for the show. And uh, I'm I'm proud to be in the McGinnis Student Ice Arena in this. I just hope Wildcat Willie's not too mad at me. He might be. Lisa doesn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> and who's Wildcat Willie, yeah, right? Exactly. All right. Well, as I said at the beginning of the show, we have so much to uh, cover here this morning at the uh, John McGinnis Student Ice Arena. We're going to take our first break, and when we come back. Uh, we'll be talking perhaps with the head coach. We'll see if he's ready for us. If not, we'll go check out the Misfits. We'll be right back.